Saturday morning in the village of Yoftongor, where fishermen drag their canoes along the beach, after another poor catch. Mamadou Dien says he spent more than four hours at sea and has little to show for it. Today the catch was not good. It depends. When it's a good catch, you can make up to 70,000 francs per day. $120. You can make 50,000, 40,000. It depends. It's God who decides. Abdoulaye Diata says he caught only four groupers in nearly three hours. Our grandfathers tell us that they could see the fish in abundance from here, from the beach. Today, when we tell them we have to sail for miles to find fish, they do not believe it. Fishing in Senegal is part of the culture. It's been that way for generations. Overfishing has never been a problem until the past two decades. Industrial and illegal fishing endanger Senegal's fisheries resources and threaten the way of life of thousands of fishermen. Prices are up in fish markets like this one, with some species now much harder to find, including the tioff, which is an essential ingredient in local cuisine. More than 600,000 Senegalese work in the fishing industry, where smaller canoes compete with large industrial fishing ships along more than 700 kilometers of coastline. Each year between 2010 and 2015, the Global Fishing Research Group Frontiers in Marine Science estimates that more than 260,000 tons of fish were illegally taken from Senegalese waters by foreign trawlers. Mamadou Dien says that is crippling local communities. The big boats are causing a lot of damage and the government is doing nothing to help us. It's up to the government to do something. The scarcity of fish is due to several factors. Industrial fishing is one of them. Senegal's director of fisheries, Mamadou Goudiabi, says the government is doing something by mandating fishing suspensions to allow stocks to replenish. The government defines and fixes the duration of the biological rest. It is now up to the fishermen to respect the measure the state has taken to allow the fish species to be able to grow, to reach commercial size and to reproduce. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says 90% of the world's fisheries are either fully depleted or facing collapse, a decline that fishermen here says is being made worse by European and Asian fleets in West African waters. Salwa Jafari for VOA News, Yoftongor, Senegal.